Welcome to another daily dose of Drupal. We are on episode number 46 today. As always, I am Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, or you can hop over to the Code Karate website and check out all the other things we have going on. A while back, on a daily dose of Drupal episode, I believe it was on the 19th of September, I did an episode on the Profile 2 module. And this is going to extend that a little bit and just show how you can build a view, basically a membership directory, using information from those fields that you created with the Profile 2 module. Uh, just a quick overview, if you don't remember, if you didn't watch that video, the Profile 2 module will basically allow you to create a separate profile, which can be a collection of fields, maybe it's date of birth, biography, you know your social media profiles things like that and have an actual separate profile that's attached to your user account on a Drupal website so this is going to be useful for any type of membership website or any type of social networking website that's using Drupal where you need to list the actual members of the site so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have profile 2 and views installed which I do and well actually if you look at it let's come to the modules page and let's go ahead and confirm that I have the profile 2 module installed profile 2 is turned on and it looks like I do not have the views module so we're gonna go ahead and download the views module so I'll go ahead and use drush from the command line to just download views and we will come back into the modules page and f use the filter to find and turn on views and views UI so I'll go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do in this example, we're just going to create a very basic views page that lists all the members of the site. And it also will show their profile information if they have any. So if we go ahead and look at the profile module, the profile 2 module, we click on configure. You'll notice that we have it two different profiles. We have a main profile and a reviewer profile. We're only going to be concerned with the main profile here. All this profile has is a full name and a bio field. So nothing too uh, nothing too difficult there, just a couple fields. What we're going to do now is we're going to create this view and we're going to make sure it links up to this main profile. Let's go ahead and look at the users we have on the site. So it looks like we have a couple different users so we should be good to go as far as some basic content for the view. The view is not going to look pretty at the end, but it's going to be workable and you're going to be able to use that to build any type of view that you need. If you haven't used views before, this probably isn't the the starting point you want to look at. There's probably a bunch of other tutorials you can go and learn the very basics. This one is just going to show you how to build a basic, fairly basic view but using a relationship. So I'm going to create a view called Site Members. We're going to show users, and we'll go ahead and show the newest first. That's fine. We'll create a page called Site Members. The path will be test3.codekarate.com slash site members. And in this case, we could show a table format if you wanted a listing and you wanted to be able to easily administer these, or a grid format, any or unformatted if you just wanted to format it with some CSS. I'm going to go ahead and use a grid and we'll show 12 items and we will have it use a pager and go ahead and hit continue and edit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple extra fields here. So we selected the fields and I'm going to go down to user and we already have the username as you can see. I want to show the user created date if this was an administrative page you could show the user email address and user edit link but depending on if 
you showing this to your average users. If you want a site membership directory that any user can see, you probably don't want to show any of those fields. The edit link would only show up, of course, if they have access to that, but you don't want any user to be able to see other users' email addresses, most likely. So we could add user's picture if they had one. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that. I don't believe any of the users on this site have a picture, so we won't have anything to show there. But if you did have uploaded pictures, you would of course see an image there. So if you come down here, it shows the label of the picture, the username, and the created date. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the label on the image, even though there are no images. Just imagine that there would be a, a user profile picture there if any of these users had actually uploaded the image. And for the grid settings, we can say we maybe we only want it to be three columns. So if we apply that, you can see you have three columns. But what we really want is we want to show those extra fields that we have in our main profile that we created with profile two. So this main profile, we really want to show this bio and this full name field. Now your first thought would be, well, let's just try to add this field. But since it's actually a separate entity, you can't get to it from just the normal fields interface. You actually have to first add a relationship. And this relationship is going to reference this original user entity to the profile entity that you created. In this case, this main profile. So we go in, we clicked on Add Relationships and we're going to select user profile and this shows up because of the profile module has been turned on we'll go ahead and click apply and you could require this relationship what this will do is if any user does not have a profile they will not show up in this listing if, if you check it if you leave it unchecked then it will still show the user but these fields will be blank because it won't actually link to anything you can select which profile you want to use. In this case, I'm only going to show the main profile. And I'm going to click Apply. Now that requires, if you're familiar with SQL or you know databases, it's kind of like an inner join versus a left join SQL statement. If you're not familiar with that, then that may not quite make sense. But basically, all views is is just a very fancy user interface for making specific types of database queries and structuring the results. Just a way to build simple lists and of course it gets pretty complex when you get into the contextual filters and relationships but what this will now allow us to do is it will now allow us to add those fields that we wanted. So you can see there's another option here for profile. If you scroll down you can see those or I can go ahead and just limit it so I only see the profile fields so now I can select bio and full name go ahead and hit apply I can leave the label you of course want to use the relationship that you created so you need that to show up there and I will leave I'll go ahead and remove the label from this one and I can of course rearrange them however I want so username full name, created date, and bio. Now if I hit apply and I scroll down, I can see that this user, of course, they must not have profiles, they have no bio. This one has a bio that says test user, but they're, and this is the, the user's actual full name. And down here, here's a full name and a bio as well. So we can go ahead and save this. Click on view page, and this will take us to the site members page. And you can see I now have a grid of the site members of the website. It has my fields from the profile pulled in. And you can do a whole bunch of cool things. You could add uh, different types of filters. So you can search site members. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. So you can come into the view. You can add a filter for, for instance, we'll say full name. go ahead and hit apply and we'll go ahead and click expose here 
we'll just put name. We'll go ahead and put member name. And we're going to use the contains. Keep in mind, this is depending on how many users you have, this could make it make a relatively slow search query, but it will work. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. What we did here is we're adding a filter and we're exposing it so the user is going to be able to input what they want to search by. So I will show you how that works. I'll hit save. Now you can see there's basically a search box so I can search by member name. If I go ahead and type user, you can see that I get just this test user because it's searching by this field only. If I search for the first letters of Shane, you can see I get this member. Keep in mind it's only searching by this field, but you can add, of course, different drop downs if you had you know, all different types of options for various members and you could use the view to search and filter through these different members. So this is good for building out user administration interfaces for you if the default user administration interface isn't good enough for your needs or if you need to build out a membership directory for your other site users. Uh, that's really all we're going to go over today. Just some uh, views concepts that we went over here looking at relationships and uh, exposed filters and views and also using that with the profile 2 module so you can help or start building out your membership directory. That's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal and we will be back again tomorrow with another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.